Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Wayward Issue 1, another indie book that I read this week. A lot of indies this week. If you check out my pull list on Comic Frontline, I said, um, big week for indies, because it definitely was. Uh, so before I start talking about Wayward Issue 1, though, I just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno, Episode 62, and that's a show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We have... Godstorm Hercules Pain, Issue 5. Super Secret Crisis War, Issue 3. Tastic 4, Issue 9. Flash, Issue 34. Outcast, Issue 3. Avengers Undercover, Issue 9. Silver Surfer, Issue 5. Sinestro, Issue 5. And Guardians of the Galaxy, Issue 18. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic Uno, Episode 62. Also, my comic book reviews are moving to Friday. There will be more information about that on my update video this weekend. But let's talk about Wayward Issue 1. Now, I don't have the physical copy with me because I did read it digitally. Um, and I wanted to try out this series. Uh, again, another one where I just read the description. It said Buffy-type series, and that really hooked me. And uh, the summary sounded interesting. The cover looked cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this Issue 1. So I did, and I read it, obviously, <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this review. And uh, the story is about this Irish-slash-Japanese girl. Um, she lived in Ireland with her dad for a while, and now she's going to her mom to Japan. And she's just kind of getting used to the land and also getting not to know her mother better, but just to get to see the routine of uh, what her mother is doing. And as she's roaming Japan, she realizes, like, something special about her. Like, she's seeing, like, these tracks, these red tracks, and she could do things that she uh, didn't, uh, couldn't do before. And she meets this girl who also could do some special things. And, uh, uh our main character doesn't really know what to do with this. And we only see glimpses of it, but the the girl she meets definitely has a lot of powers. How are they connected? That's definitely going to be a big story. Uh, personally, I really like this issue. I thought it was a really good first issue uh, to get into the world. Um, I don't know if I was so interested in like the cat story because Wayward's definitely about cats and like there's all these cats following her. Uh, so I don't know if I'm interested in that portion. I feel like I've seen that a lot of times with these type of comics, but I was really intrigued with the character herself. I think you hear her voice a lot in this issue. The, the artwork was really good. Um, and also what I liked about it, I'm not a big anime fan, but I think if you are a big Japanese um, Eastern culture fan, then you might really like this because it's the combination of Eastern culture with Western culture because it's a comic book, an American comic book, mixed with this Japanese type anime thing and I thought that was really cool. I've really rarely seen it. I've seen it before but comic books really do that so I thought that was a really cool combination for this book and really intrigued me. So I, I, I am going to try issue two and uh, I thought this was a really good start, really solid start. I'm going to give it four stars. I recommend Wayward and uh, I'm going to see where it goes. I don't know if it'll stay on my pull list but I definitely want to see where the story goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this East Comic You Know. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Rent Situations and don't forget to like my Facebook page and I'll see you guys later. And also, in the description below, there's information on my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. You can check out more information there. So, I will see you guys later in this comic. Good Bye.